So you, against all better judgment, want to make Souls RNG instead of Obby Creator. I won't blame you, RNG games have become incredibly popular and there's only one reasonable reaction to this. Capitalize. We have to get likes, alright? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just gonna show you a very simple bug mechanic on how to make an RNG system and that's basically it, you know. Anyways, I'll just stop yapping and get to the tutorial. So this is what you basically need before you actually make your system. You want a little stand with all your rarities, you know, uncommon, common and stuff. It don't need to be the exact same, but I'm going to be referring them as common and so on, so, you know, you can change them later. You want a little, like, TV screen or something like that to display all the rarities. These are moving parts, by the way, obviously, just to display it to the player when they get it. And then you want a little conveyor system, you know, a small conveyor belt and a large conveyor belt. They don't have to look exactly like this, but I'm going to be using these exact same templates for during the mechanism tutorial, so you might want to copy them down a little bit. First, place push parts into each compartment into the larger conveyor mechanism. Optionally, you can color the push parts, it's not needed to, but I like it. Now we'll work on the smaller conveyor system, make a, lar make a compartment similar to the ones on the larger conveyor system and place a push block inside, and then place a respawn part with respawn push blocks on at the end. Add a large button that will make the first gate on the large system invisible for around, you know, 0.3 seconds or so. And add two invisible parts of any kind. I did give it outline to see them better. We're not going to need them right now, but later we will. A uh, non-collide button that sets parts to invisible for an infinite amount of time, and the activation type has to be random. Alright, this is the important part. Then create a completely invisible button with the button type invisible. You know, no can collide, uh, max transparency, all of that. Add a button at the end of the conveyor that sets the gate for the conveyor below it invisible. So yeah, they'll just open the gate below in the bottom row. And add more sections in the add more sections or compartments in the area to the right. And place push blocks in them. Add a button that sets the block rarity for common visible for an infinite time. And then a button that activates the moving parts to have the display text for the common rarity. Add a fading part in the small conveyor that has all the triggers uh, set to false. You want this fading part to be short, so around 1 to 3 seconds will work. Add a fading part in the right conveyor. This is to allow the player to read the rarities and make it push block activated. So for around 3 seconds of fade. After this, add a button to trigger the common moving part and to move it back and no longer show on the TV display. Add a button in the short conveyor that resets all push blocks. Then add a button that makes the currently invisible button and parts invisible forever. This is for later, by the way. Add a button that, st that starts the short conveyor by making the gate invisible for around 0.5 seconds. I actually made it so all the push blocks became invisible. Uh, you should check if you made a similar same or the same mistake, because, uh, you know, Obviously, without push blocks, the system won't work. And we've only worked on the row for the common rarity, so the push block may stop at the second row. This is normal, don't worry. And also add a button that makes all gates visible for an infinite amount of time in the short conveyor. Uh, the rest is super simple. All you have to do is copy the buttons down, and um, that's it. That's how you make the rest of rarities. It, you don't have to stop at legendary. You can go as far as you want, alright? The buttons closest to the gate pick randomly between showing the invisible buttons or the useless parts. Uh, I forgot to record this, but make sure to make all the invisible buttons invisible forever from the button that we just used in the short conveyor. Make sure at the end of each row for the conveyors on the left turn side, it opens the gates off for the conveyors below. Now, for the right row, make each button show the part that pairs with the rarity of the row.
Then add buttons that move the text for each rarity both in front and behind the fading part. Alright there, uh, stop, because it turns out I'm an idiot and I completely forgot a very important button mechanic. <laughs> um, <laughs> oops. Uh, so yeah, my bad. Uh, here. So yeah, you want a button that, um, activates the fading part on the short conveyor, just like across, just make it long enough for the entire side. Uh, my bad, uh, it basically, the conveyor system will not work without it. Anyways, that's the basic system done. Uh, right now, it's just a little clip of me trying to make it look good for the um, little, for like a thumbnail. Uh, make sure to notice that I am not good at building. I usually use like studs to hide how bad my builds are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you can just see me like placing like, random stuff around to make it look, you know, not like a random base plate with a little TV on it. So yeah, congrats, um, your button mechanic should be working, if it doesn't, then um, I recommend just going through the video again, you maybe forgot a button or two, kinda goes fast, my bad, um, you know. So yeah, you can customize it a little bit, cause, alright, so check this out, this is a game I made with my friend Mason, it's basically using the same system that I showed you, just a bit more advanced, so this one has an auto roll system, you know, a bit more rarities, it's pretty cool. You should try it out. I'll put the uh, game ID right into there. Uh, so this is the bun mechanic that the current game uses. It's a bit more advanced, but you know I didn't want to overwhelm you so much. Uh, I just put a little simpler mechanism in the tutorial. So yeah, congrats! You have effectively jailed children into staying in your game forever to keep rolling. Nice job.